Welcome, Wargamers, hobbyists everywhere, and fellow YouTubers. Welcome to this episode of Alien, the RPG game, where we are taking a look at the core rulebook. And we're on section nine now. Section nine is called Your Job as Game Mother, because GM in, in Alien stands for Game Mother. And as always, it starts with a a movie quote, a movie reference, and this one is perhaps by far and above my absolute favourite in all of them. You'll know who it is. That's it, man. No, sorry, I'll do it in a better voice. I'll try and do it in a better voice. That's it, man. Game over, man. Game over. I think you all know who that is. Private William Hudson. Game over, man. Game over. I think that's my most quoted uh, line from the movie. But anyway, so your job as game runner. Now, this section goes over all the aspects of running this game as an RPG. Talks about the game principles. And it encourages you to riff from the movies. It says here, number one, we've all seen the Alien movies, most of us, multiple times. Use this fact in the game. A riff from dialogue, scenes, and characters. Describe a corridor like the one of the Nostromo's walkways in Alien. Base a character on one of the Marines in Aliens. Encourage the players to do the same. There's plenty of source material to draw from. Use it. And that is a good point. It really does add to the game, let me tell you. It really does. It makes it... It, it, it makes it feel even more like you're in an Alien movie. Limit their resources is another one, which is always good. Don't want the players to have everything they need all the time. And in this game, that's uh, more prevalent than ever before. Stay in the shadows is another one. Hint at the source of danger, but don't show it. Build up the atmosphere of dread and so on. So, yeah, it is, you know, because it's, it's a horror in space, isn't it, basically? Increase the pressure, then let them breathe. Fuel their agendas. Bring horrible death and reveal the universe. So these are all uh, different aspects it talks about uh, whilst running the game. And themes is next, it goes on to. Um, so yeah, at its core, Alien is about self. So it is a space horror, let's not forget that. It's about confronting your deepest fears and, and so on. It talks about sci-fi action, big set pieces, make it feel like you're in a movie. Sense of wonder and place that in. Stress and horror. Now, the Alien role-playing game is a horror game at its heart. The question is not uh, but if, rather when, the PCs will encounter something horrific and fight desperately to escape or give them or give their lives so that others might do so. Yeah, it's not really a question of if, it's more a question of when in this, in this game. Let's get this straight, right from the beginning. If you're playing a cinematic uh, scenario, cinematic gives us two two ways of playing it, campaign and cinematic. If you're playing cinematic, the majority of the players will not survive. It is all about the enjoyment of the journey of the story. Fear of the unknown, loss of control and horrible choices that you've got to make as these player characters. These poor people. Uh, three stages of fear we've got here. So we've got dread and it goes into that, terror and then horror. But then it talks about relieving stress because you gain stress tokens in this game and in the form of uh, stress dice and you roll those and when you roll ones on your stress dice something bad happens and you can use them to push your normal conventional rolls but if you accumulate too much stress chances are something horrific is going to happen you know it's pretty bad for you it's not good you need to get rid of stress whenever you can so it says an important part of the game is managing the stress levels of the PCs. The players have several ways to do, do this, such as interacting with a signature item, finding a safe place to hide, or helping each other to calm down. Signature items, that could be like, I don't know, little knickknacks that they've got on their personal items that they feel comfortable with. Maybe it could be a photo of a loved one. So it's something that you'd have to calm you down. Ship's cat, I don't know, whatever. Uh, finding a safe place and just hiding out there, that's another one. Uh, all these things, if you spend time, you can um, relieve stress. 
Sometimes the players will want to split up into smaller groups. Let them. When doing this, it is important that you cut back and forth between the groups so that one group does not have to wait too long for the other. Let them all stay at the table even if they are not in the same location. Trust the players to separate what they know and what their PCs know. I, I think we're all pretty uh, grown up about this by now. Use the fact that they have split up to create interesting and scary situations. Also consider what means of communication the PCs have access to. Do they have personal communicators? If not, are there communication terminals around? So you got to bear this in mind. So splitting up the the group is uh, is cool for the for the GM in this game because it creates more terror, more horror, more fear, more panic. Non-player characters. It talks about then. It talks about creating them, their attributes, skills, and so on. It talks a bit about cinematic play, and then goes into campaign play and the structure of cinematic scenarios and how campaign play differs because uh, essentially you're kind of think of campaign play as, as like uh, it's, it's movies still but it's, let's say it's a trilogy and you you know you need, you need to make free movies say for instance or oh, you're going to be playing free sessions to, to create a campaign I, I, I don't know I mean you could build up characters and it? it is a game you can do that but it's not as easy as it is for other role playing games out there and so it gives you a reading list, a bit of a reading list as well, things to get inspiration from um, to pop, pop into your game. And that is uh, chapter 8, um, your job as game mother. And um, yeah, so that's it for this, uh, this video. Thank you for watching. Remember all brushes lead to war. Have a go at Alien. You'll, you, you'll be glad you did. Anyway, catch you on the next video guys. Bye for now. Bye-bye.